Hi everyone, this is Mohammed from Esri Canada, and I'll be showing you today a little trick that most ArcGIS users don't know about. I'll be demonstrating how you can identify the authorization number or the license code as some users refer to on the machine. As we all know, transferring ArcGIS licenses from one machine to another is a regular process for organizations. One question that's frequently asked when transferring licenses between machines is how can I identify it or figure out the authorization code that was activated on my machine. To identify the license code that was activated on my machine, there are a couple of requirements to consider. First, you must have access to my Esri account associated with your organization. My Esri portal is a website designed to allow quicker and easier access to your software downloads and licenses. You also need permissions to access the licensing information. These permissions are granted by the admin of my Esri account that is associated with your organization. Yep, I get this time to get to know who your admin is. The second thing you need to consider is that you must have admin privileges to access the ArcGIS administrator on your machine. So it won't be a bad idea to get to know your IT after all. So let's start with the demonstration. First, I'll go ahead and launch the ArcGIS administrator on my machine. The ArcGIS Administrator is a utility that's installed automatically with the ArcGIS desktop and allows you to manage your licensing environment. Now that we have it open, you will notice a directory tree menu on your left, from which the ArcGIS connection is selected by default. This section provides more information about the ArcGIS configurations on my machine. What we're interested in here is the machine IDs, so I'm just going to go ahead and click that option. It will take a couple of seconds to generate the information. Now that we have it open, you can find the unique identifiers associated with the machine. What we're interested in is the UMN IDs. This code differs from one machine to another, so in your case, you can have UMN1 or UMN2 or both together. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that alphanumeric code, and we're going to use this code in our My Esri account. So once I go back to My Esri account and sign in, I will go under My Organizations, Licensing, and from the Licensing menus, there is one option under the Licensing tools called Recover Lost Licenses. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it, and from step one, ask you to identify or find your machine. In our case, we already know the machine IDs from the ArcGIS administrator. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the second option and go next. Step two would be basically to paste the UMN ID that we just copied. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that code and click on search. And here we're going to get the results that we're looking for. You can see we have all the activations or the license numbers that were activated on my machine. So if I'm looking specifically for, let's say, for example, a spatial analyst, I can just control F and just search for spatial. And you'll notice that I have one spatial analyst authorized with the ESU code. And this is basically it. If I'm looking for a desktop advanced, and as you can see, I have a ESU code here for the desktop advanced, and I have some other more information like activity date and authorized by who, and so on. If in a scenario where your organization uses concurrent use licenses only, you can follow the same exact workflow that I just did. The only difference is that you will need to access or get the UMN ID code from the license server manager. The license server manager is another application that needs to be installed in case your organization use concurrent use licenses. So as you can see, the ArcGIS License Server Administrator looks similar, similarly to the ArcGIS Administrator that's automatically installed with the ArcGIS Desktop. So we need to follow the exact same flow. I'm looking for the machine IDs here. And I'm just going to click on the machine IDs for the ArcGIS Administrator as well, so we can notice how both are similar and identical with the information. And here we go. You can see that the UMN ID 2 is the exact same one from the license manager and from the ArcGIS administrator. So if I go ahead and copy that alphanumeric code again and go back to my Esri, you 
Okay, yes, I'm just going to start a new session. It's always better. So organization, licensing, recover lost licenses. Again, same questions. I have the machine IDs. Paste the UMN ID code, search. And here are my results again. The reason why I get two machines, it's basically the same machine, but one it's for the concurrent use licenses, which is the ArcGIS license manager. As you can see, the EFL code is for concurrent use licenses, while the other machine is for single use licenses. So it has the ESU code. The goal of this video is to show you the easiest way to identify the license number activated on your machine. However, there are a couple of other ways to accomplish the same task. We can use the reports option on my Esri and look at the authorizations activity. So if I go back up here, again under my organization, and go under reports, and from there there's a section for authorizations activity. So if I go ahead and click on it, here I can select which fields to display in the report to better visualize the record. So I'm just going to go ahead and just like hide some of the fields that I don't need. Licenses group. Let's see. Activity. Name. File ID. Customer. And fulfillment ID. All right. Once I'm satisfied with the table or the reports, I can now filter the UMN ID 2 column with the UMN ID that I have on my machine. So if you click on the filter icon and just copy or paste the human ID that you copied from the ArcGIS administrator and just filter, you will get all the products and the extensions that were activated on that human ID associated with your machine. So as you can see here, I get all the product, the extensions and the authorization number. And it's basically the same process. Control F and I look for, let's say, track and analyst. And here it is, it's the same UMN code and the authorization number and some other information as well. And here we go. I hope after watching this video, you've learned something new and useful. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and feel free to post any comment or suggestion. Thank you.